Again, the Sutter County Sheriff's Office says they do not know if the body is that of the missing Yuba College student. Yesterday's discovery comes as the family of Ali Yeoman is reacting to this weekend's interview with the man believed to be the last person to see the 20-year-old. CBS 13's Elisa Becerra has more on the doubt that at least one family member is casting on his story. He kept his silence for more than a month. Now the last person to see Alicia Yeoman before she disappeared is making one thing clear. He doesn't know where she is. Any idea what happened to her? I have no idea what happened to her. Now that Michael Lizarraga is speaking, Yeoman's family is listening and asking the public to, quote, please watch and form your own opinion. In fact, an uncle told CBS 13 there appears to be contradictions in Lizarraga's story, but he didn't specify. One week ago, Alicia Yeoman's family held a vigil. Her mom had this plea. And anybody that has any information, please, please come forward. More emotion as Allie's aunt addressed the crowd in Gridley. Somebody out there knows something. You do not just disappear. And Allie's childhood friend. You have no clue where she is. But somebody does. And that's the thing. They haven't spoken. Back to Michael Lizarraga, who is speaking. He says at the Yeoman family's request. Is there pressure on you because you're the last person allegedly to have seen her? Yes, there's definitely pressure, but from law enforcement at first, but after they, they searched the house and they got everything they, they felt they needed, they haven't really pressed on me at all. According to Lizarraga, he grabbed a bite with Yeoman while she talked to him about a guy. They went to his home where friends were hanging out. She said, I have a bottle of wine. You know, do you mind if I open it? I said, yeah, go ahead, crack it open. And, you know, I honestly, I've only been around her twice. I've known her, you know, we go back and forth on social media. He says she left the house just before 8. She had to work early that morning. That's the whole reason why she wanted to go home. Concerned for her welfare, he told her to let him know when she got home. She didn't text me when I asked her to. I told her, text me when you get home three times, and she promised she would. Yeoman made no further contact with him. Her truck was seen in this farmer's surveillance video around 11 p.m., heading up onto the levee along the Feather River in Live Oak. The truck was later found abandoned, with a single set of footprints heading away. Her cell phone nearby, but no sign of Yeoman. When she went missing, I right away just started looking up, um, maybe she got pulled over. Maybe she got an accident. Started checking out, you know, hospitals. Lizarraga says he has no idea what happened to Ali Yeoman after she left his house. And that was Elisa Becerra reporting so many unanswered questions in this case. Again, a body has been pulled from the Feather River close to where Ali's truck was found following her disappearance. Although the Sutter County Undersheriff says at this time it's unclear if the victim is connected to this case.